For this video, we're going to simulate bivariate normal distribution. I'm using R. I'm on a Ubuntu Linux machine. And our goal is to generate X and Y data with a certain mean and variance. They don't have to be the same, but the correlation between the values X and Y needs to be a certain value. Call it P or rho, and that's between negative 1 and 1. So let's pick some random values here. I'm going to have a sample size of 2222. The mean for my x will be 8. The mean for my y will be 2. The standard deviation for x will be 1. Standard deviation for 2 will be 3. And I want a correlation of 0.7. It's a two-step algorithm. Step 1 is generate x. and in R, there's a function called R norm, and it, what sample size do you need, what mean, and what standard deviation. So let's run that. Now step two is a little trickier. Here it's it's a little bit longer equation. The x from above is is in this equation, and we standardize it. We add the mean of two, and then we generate some more uh, normal data with the mean zero and uh, standard deviation 1 minus rho squared. Anyway, this is step 2, and then I just want to plot it and see what we get. Okay, so this is uh, x and this is y, and uh, this tells you what it is. It's a normal mean 8, standard deviation 1. This is mu 2, standard deviation of 3, and these are the sample mean and standard deviation for y and it's pretty close and this is the sample mean and standard deviation for x and we'll go through this a few times now the vertical red bar is the sample mean for x the the horizontal bar is the sample mean for y and the the uh, diagonal line is going to be the regression line simple linear regression and I'm also going to print out a um, uh, correlation test. So it, the correlation is 0.7 in our sample and its significance, which it should be. So what we want to do here is go through a few values. Let's let's say 0.25, and then rerun it, and we we get this. So the slope is a little bit different, a little less. Let's change the means. Uh, so this is let's make this 12. Uh, the standard deviation 2 and this 4. And then let's make this a negative correlation and see what we get. So this is our value. Um, negative correlated. Um, my legend went off the screen so it's a negative correlation of, of, of negative 0.26 which is really close to our target and the mean is is roughly 8 and 12 the variant the standard deviations are the same and so let's really jack this up to say negative 0.9 and rerun it and here you can really see that the correlation is pretty strong negatively. The variance means and standard deviations are pretty close to what we wanted. Um, oh, let's make this a perfect correlation of a negative one and see what we get. Oh, it's right on the line what we would expect. Okay, so let's make that a positive one and see if we get it. A positive correlation and we do correlation is exactly one our sample is exactly one um, let's make this a strong por correlation of 0.9 rerun and we see a the positive correlation in between our X and a Y with the means and uh, standard deviations that we wanted and let's make this zero and see what we get and run it and the mean standard deviations are the same and the regression line is basically the mean so it's essentially zero here's a correlation of 0 0.01 p 
p-value is 0.3, so they're not significantly correlated. So they're independent samples. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. I find this pretty fascinating.